Well, here we are in the second part of our series in Exodus. And if we're following along with the people of Israel, things have just gotten a little bit harder for them. Moses has rocked up on the scene to save them. Um, but instead of things getting better, things have gotten worse. Pharaoh has asked them to work and um, to make bricks without straw. He's doubled their workload. He's just made life a lot tougher. And God is about to begin a lesson to Pharaoh um, that I think is really a lesson for all of us. The, the title for today's session uh, is called Necessary Endings, about how some things in our life just need to end so that new things can begin. Uh, Pharaoh, for Pharaoh, uh, the thing that's ending is his free slave labor, really. Um, for the people of Israel, when they go on their journey through the Exodus, uh, the thing that's ending is their old way of life. The, uh, the ways that they used to have under slavery and in Egypt, and God really wanting to have a new uh, a way of living for them. Uh, one of the ways that God then, I guess, teaches us to end things that are not helpful is He puts in natural consequences. Uh, with the plagues, for example, every time Pharaoh defied God, there was a consequence. We see this in our life as well. If we, um, if we don't exercise, there's a consequence on our body. If we... Uh, don't study for exams, there's a consequence on our results. Um, this story that, that you're about to do in the home group, it's actually very telling of the story of our lives. I, I just read a book called Immunity to Change, and in it they cite a medical um, research study that was done on people with heart problems. Uh, they found that people with heart attacks who are then told you have to change your life, otherwise you will get another heart attack and you will possibly die. So with such a, a big life-changing consequence, only one in seven people change their lifestyle. Only one in seven. Six out of the seven people, the consequence was not big enough. Sadly, for a lot of us, we end up gaining that weight, failing that exam, not heeding the consequence, um, and then paying the ultimate price. Um, Pharaoh was a bit like that. In the pattern of Pharaoh, which I hope you will see through Pharaoh, uh, through reading Exodus, I hope you'll see some typical responses that we have. You know, um, the, the plagues, they escalate. They start off really small with, you know, um, frogs and little, little things like that. And then they escalate all the way up to the death of the firstborn son. Each time there's a consequence, Pharaoh um, does what I think is a typical reaction. Oh no, God, uh, it's okay. I will, I'm, not, I'm never going to do that again. Yes, you can let the people go. But as soon as the consequence is, is over and done with, oh, as soon as the effect of that has, has passed, we revert back to our old ways. And just like Pharaoh who goes back and says, you know what, I changed my mind. I, I, want, these, I want my slave labor back again. I, I can't, our economy cannot handle this. Um, we become people who resort back to our old way of doing things. Um, today's study is going to look at consequences as God's tool to bring necessary endings in our life. Some things need to change about us. We are paying the price in some areas of our lives with small consequences and the hope is that we will address these before they become really big consequences. I hope that as you do today's home group lesson, uh, you will reflect about your own life, about the areas that God is trying to change in you, um, things that you can already start seeing consequences of and you begin to think, what things really need to end? in my life, what relationships need to be broken, what habits need to be broken, what old ways need to die so that God can start something new in your life. Uh, it is my hope, and I know it's God's hope as well, that you don't end up paying too big a consequence. 
for not changing when God wants you to change. In fact, these changes are always for your own good and for your betterment. God bless you.